I'm Lauren. Um, I study midwifery. I'm in my third year at the University of Malta. I come from a very small family, very small common family, with no medical background whatsoever. Um, but I always wanted to study healthcare. Uh, and I chose midwifery because I think it is a very unique profession. We care for mothers and babies. And I think that the fact that you help a mother at such a vulnerable time in her life, I think it, it's, um, it's a very beautiful thing. It was around two and a half years ago. I still remember the date. I remember every single detail, the mother's name and the baby's name. It was a beautiful little girl. And it, for me, it was, it was a big thing. It was my first placement, my, the very first time I saw a birth. And it was, it was amazing. Midwifery is not the same as it was before. There was a time where um, locals used to, used to know a midwife personally and that made a very huge difference in a mother's life. And also technology has taken over. Um, I'm all for technology. We're living in the 21st century and I think we should make use of technology. But I think we should um, create that balance between using technology and not forgetting our roots, um, which is um, carrying out our midwifery skills using our hands. I think it is very important for midwives to keep up to date with evidence-based research. Uh, that and the pride in, in, in your abilities and uh, the confidence in your chosen profession I think is very, very important if midwifery is to stay relevant in the future. You can't create that, that barrier around midwifery. It's not just you as a midwife, so it's good that you can work with other professions I think is very very important not only in midwifery but in all aspects of healthcare. There are a lot of options that I can um, go for after I, I finish my bachelor's degree. Um, I'd love to continue studying, uh, maybe follow a master's program or a PhD program um, and maybe go into lecturing or research and I think the pride in that would be to train students and pass on the same principle that um, I have or maybe possibly opening my own midwifery practice maybe by myself, maybe in a collaboration with midwives um, there are a lot of options but um, the key is not to give up Saha <laughs> hiar